As the weather warms in spring to the sound of the birds and the bees, gardeners can warm up to their work. It's still too early to plant vegetables, but we can propagate berries. The first thing we do is we get the beds ready for where we're gonna plant them. We've composted this field and plowed it, and this is where the new raspberry patch is gonna be, and we're gonna grow vegetables around the raspberries to keep the grass and stuff like that out. The berries are propagated different ways. Blackberries and black cap raspberries are, are what we call tip layers. A blackberry plant will grow up out of the ground and make a long cane. The cane will then fall back to the ground and re-root. That's a new plant. We can take pruning shears and prune it off. We'll clip the berry off right there and then dig up the plant. See how their new little shoot is ready? That little shoot there will grow up and make another blackberry plant. Red raspberries, on the other hand, are propagated from suckers. Let's go down and dig some. This raspberry patch has been here for several years and raspberries come up from their roots. They tend to get overcrowded. So every now and then we go in and we thin them out a little bit and get plants to start our new raspberry patches. All we need to be careful for is not to break off our new shoot. We wanna have a good shoot and some roots. I'm gonna prune them a little bit before I plant them. And I like to prune the roots, make it a nice clean cut. We wanna get them in the ground as soon as possible because the plant out of the soil is like a fish out of water. We don't want these roots to dry out any more than, than necessary just to get them from the field into the ground. So I'm gonna put them here in the shade. And we're gonna plant these all right away. Raspberries come in an ever-bearing type and a spring-bearing type. We have had trouble with the spring-bearing types because of the Japanese beetles. So we grow heritage, which is an ever-bearing type. It can be mown down in the winter. It'll send up shoots in the spring, but it doesn't make berries until August and September after the Japanese beetles are gone. Our spring bearing raspberries were getting demolished by those Japanese beetles. So we're just gonna put the plant in the soil here. Maybe put a couple of handfuls of some good biodynamic compost around the plant. Then we're gonna sprinkle some water, pour a little water in it. Put a little dry soil on top and make sure it's firmed in real good. By putting the dry soil on top, it keeps the ground from forming a crust. We never water something without covering it back up. Okay, on to the next one. Blueberries are planted in a very sunny location that has well-drained soil. We dig a hole and we set the plant in the hole at the same depth that it was uh, in the pot. Blueberries are shallow rooted. We don't want to get them too deep, but we don't want to have them up above the soil level either. Then we'll take some compost and put compost around the, the roots And then blueberries get something that none of our other plantings get. They get sulfur, which is an element that is very acidic. It lowers the soil pH, unlike lime, which raises the soil pH. Blueberries are like azaleas and rhododendrons. They have to have an acid soil, something around 5.5 pH. So we're going to add about a cup of sulfur around our newly planted berries. The last thing we do to plant the blueberries is put some wood chip mulch on them. 
Wood chips are also acidic, but you'll notice how rotten these wood chips are. I don't use any fresh wood chips, only ones that are well rotted and black. Although it's too early in the spring to do much with our vegetables, we can relieve our spring fever by working with fruit crops. Planting berries now will give us lots of fruit, not only for the many folks that will come out and enjoy the blueberries and raspberries and blackberries, but also we'll have some many happy customers with the birds and the bees.